panic mode. Axios insists there is no recession and economy in good shape. <laughs> no one believes you, Axios. We know you're running cover for uh <laughs> for Joe Biden. We know you caping for Joe Biden. I mean, gosh, we we know this. This is not a secret. <laughs> this is ridiculous, is what it is. Uh, cause you you're telling us who is basically who you gonna believe. Me or your lying eyes, you know, this is, this is, this is crazy. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell. So you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I'll talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now this comes from Infowars is uh, Jamie White. And they report that liberal news outlet Axios was ruthlessly mocked on social media after asserting that, quote, there is no recession in America because the, quote, economy is in good shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in a Thursday article titled, more than half of Americans think the U.S. is in a recession, it's not. <coughs> That's, it's, it's really because, hold on, excuse me a second, let me. <laughs> Let me try to clear my throat before I go into this BS. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just getting over um, some type of cold. But anyway, this it, is not technically a, a recession because we know they changed the definition of what a recession is. <clears throat> but um, just like they do with all definitions to try to suit the government, they go in and try to manipulate things and change what things mean. But Axios made the case that the American economy is in good shape despite data points suggesting the opposite. Quote, the economy is actually in good shape and there's no recession. But misperceptions, <laughs> some misperceptions like this are a huge political challenge for President Biden and an advantage for former President uh, Trump as they vie for uh, second terms, the outlet reported. So here's their uh, tweet out here, which got blasted online by people on, on Twitter. But the outlet went on to claim that everything is honky-dory because the economy grew by 1.4% as measured by GDP so far 2024, and the stock market is up on the year. But Americans remain pessimistic about the economy due to inflation and the rising uh, cost of living. And even Jamie Dimon uh reported uh, reported that it's not going to get any better anytime soon. Jamie Dimon, the head of BlackRock. But um, it looks like inflation and higher cost of living indicators not typically part of the recession call by the NBER could be shaping American views. 70% of Americans said that cost of living is their biggest economic concern, followed by inflation at 68%. Uh, Two-thirds of Americans, including 65% Democrats, report it is difficult to be happy about positive economic news when they feel financially squeezed each month. While the rate of inflation has slowed uh, since its 2022 highs, it's still higher than most Americans are uh, used to, and uh, prices are up a great deal from 2019. So they keep, they keep going back to saying that inflation has slowed. But um, Dan Bargino, I watched the interview with him on PBD Podcast, and he made a great, a great analogy. He said, imagine if someone is like 350 pounds. Uh, they they, they, they um, got up to 350 pounds, but they haven't, they stopped at 350 and haven't gained any more weight. They're still overweight, but they just haven't gained any extra weight. So that's what inflation is. It, inflation is already high, <laughs> but because it slowed down a little bit, they, they're bragging about it, but it's still high. It hasn't gone down any. It's just the rate of it has slowed down. So, I mean, and I love that analogy. But there are other underlying reasons behind America's sour view on the economy under Biden that Axios failed to mention. Household net worth remains stagnant during Biden's term when adjusted for inflation, growing by only 0.07% compared to 16% during Trump's first 13 years. So people aren't making more money. People aren't making much more money, and, if, and then you add inflation on top of the staggering, um, the, uh, the stagnant um, 
um, rate of the stagnant um, money that they're receiving, I should say. Um, and then you got uh, someone named uh, Giger Capital tweeted out, wow, this is brutal. Adjusted for inflation, that's what we just talked about, is up 0 0.7 through Biden's first three years. It was up 16% through Trump's first three years. Uh, part of that could be because households are spending an extra $11,400 annually to afford basic necessities due to inflation. 11000 almost, uh, um, almost, um, almost $12,000. It's crazy. For example, grocery costs are up an average of 25% since 2019, and credit card debt hit a record high this month, surpassing the previous high of $1.13 trillion with the T. Axios gaslighting uh, attempt, attempt was roundly mocked on X. They got blasted. Listen to this. Uh, Brandon uh, Morris, he tweeted out, is the, is the good economy in the room with you right now, with us right now? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, then uh, Salty Cracker tweeted, a record number of restaurants is closing this year because the economy is too strong, question mark. Um, Chesterton Report said that uh, I must have misread the grocery bill every single week. But the journalist said it's okay. Maybe I need new overpriced glasses. <laughs> and uh, Capitalist Mike said uh, 2023 Q3 GDP 4.9%. Uh, 2023 Q4 GDP 2.6%, 2024 Q1 GDP 1.8%. That's called an economic slowdown. Um, and then we got Amy uh, that tweeted out, from your article, two-thirds of Americans, including 65% of Democrats, report it's difficult to be happy about positive economic news when they feel financially squeezed each month. The term recession is irrelevant Irrelevant if you are financially underwater. That is facts. You spend it how you, uh, spend it how you want. Um, and then Savannah tweeted out, uh, no amount of MSM gaslighting is going to convince Americans that their bank account is in good shape. Facts. Uh, Mil Milk Toast said, uh, you don't hate the media enough. <laughs> right? Uh and then Uniparty Bomber said, no lie is too big. Sit down, shut up, and give homage to your dear leaders. <clears throat> JWF said, Axios is now a comedy blog. <laughs> uh, Stock Jockey said, LOL, Axios saying there is no recession for people that everything costs triple of what it was. Clown show at Axios. They are getting blasted relentlessly. Uh, Steve Smith, the anti-communist, said, in case you missed it, with interest rates as high as they are, the government has to spend an additional $1 trillion every 100 days, we reported on that, uh, to cover that. And since tax revenues won't cover that, they have to print money. That's what's causing inflation. Yep, government spending, printing money. And when they print money, inflation continues to rise. Yep, that's, that's facts. That's what inflation is, when the government prints too much money. Um... Uh, Selden GA Dog said, "I'm sorry, but whose economy are you? Are you?" She said, "Taking about, taking about." Uh, she's meant talking about DC elites. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. Hold on. Um, um, DC elites, Hollywood elites, because surely you're not telling everyday Americans that we're richer than ever. <laughs> no, that's exactly what they're saying. Uh, they're, again, they're, they're just trying to gaslight us. Like, who are you going to believe? Uh, us or your lying eyes? Who are you going to believe? Us or your wallet? Who are you going to believe? <laughs> you know? And, and, and um, this is why they're losing. This is why they're losing the culture war right now because people are finally waking up to the bull crap that mainstream media elites are pushing and, and propaganda that they're spewing on us. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest good news. Until next time, peace.